Hello and welcome to another episode of Optic Story Debates. I'm Andras. Hello, my name is Taylor. Um, here uh, we at Optic Story Debates we an answer the most frequently asked questions, and the question that we are going to be answering today refers to the compact and pocket binoculars. So let's start with the basics. Theodore, what is the difference regarding the lens diameter of pocket and the compact binoculars? Well, there is a lot of confusion regarding these two categories, even though the binoculars in each of these two categories are very, very different. And you can see them now, you have two pocket binoculars and two compact binoculars, and you can see immediately how much smaller the pocket binoculars are. And the main reason, as you ask, is the lens diameter. The lens diameter in pocket binoculars is not bigger than 25. So we usually say all binoculars with lens diameter up to 25 millimeters, eventually 26 maybe, are pocket uh, binoculars. Everything above 26 all the way to 36 is compact binoculars. So it's quite simple, 20 to 26 pocket, 26 to 36 compact. What about the magnification? Is it like with the other types of binoculars, so the most common being 8 times and 10 times, or is it any different? No, it's the same. They, all of these binoculars usually uh, have either 8 or 10 times magnification. In, uh, in some cases you can find even 6 times magnification, but the majority is uh, 8 and uh, 10. 6 and 7 and 12 are much, more, uh, much less common and uh, more sparse. Now this leads me to the obvious and the most common questions we receive. So what are the advantages of pocket binoculars and disadvantages and what are the advantages of compact type of binoculars? When to use which? Well, with pocket binoculars the main advantage is that when folded together you can easily store them in any pocket and have them with you. Oh, you can see time. that they are really, yeah, they're really, really small. Yeah. They, they have double hinge, usually double hinge uh, structure or design. So they really fold together nicely. These two are even not the smallest. The 8 by 20, that is about 10 by 25, 8 by 20 are even, I would say, 30% smaller. So the main advantage is that you can just put them anywhere in your pocket and forget about them and always have them with you. So at the time when you need them, you just take them out of your pocket and start using them. So this is the main advantage. The other advantage is for small children, the interpopular distance in, in uh, pocket binoculars can be extremely small. So even the, small, the smallest children can use them while they can have problems with compact or, or full-size binoculars that they are not able to put both of these uh, two barrels close together to, to achieve a, a small enough interpopular distance. So this is the main advantage of pocket. Now that we're at pocket binoculars, can I stop you uh, yeah. right here? Uh, I've heard that some people find it difficult to, for the eye cups of the pocket binoculars to rest on their eyes because that's, they're a little bit smaller, you know? That's the disadvantage, yeah. The disadvantage is that because there is so much uh, um, effort went into making them small and compact and light, well, the, the lightness is also their big advantage, the optical performance is a little bit compromised. So first of all, the, the exit, uh, the eye relief is small. Usually it can be only 10 millimeters, 12 millimeters, 14 millimeters, which is a, quite a problem for many people, especially for, uh, um, for the glass uh, users. Yeah, the glass wearers. Um, and of course, uh, because they are so compact and small, usually the, the eye pieces, the eye cups, only have two positions, in and out. I see. So they are not so comfortable to use. They have small uh, exit pupil, uh, really short eye relief. The eye cups can only have two positions in most of the cases, so they are not the most comfortable to use. So this is a disadvantage. With compact binoculars, their main advantage is that they are offering almost equal optical performance as full-size binoculars, like 8 to 42 or 10 by 42, but they weigh less. So when you have them around your neck on a strap for a prolonged period of time, uh, you will have less fatigue because they are, they are always about 20 to 30 percent lighter than the normal full-size binoculars. They seem perfect for hiking and mountaineering and yeah. So you get almost equal 
uh, optical performance in daytime uh, bright conditions, but still you save on mass. And when you're carrying them around, uh, it, can, it, it can be different because if you're carrying around 30% less mass, it is an advantage. For twilight use, no, no. go for 8x42 or yeah. more. So no. these are not rec recommended for hunters who want to hunt in dusk. No, in no. dusk and dawn, those two binoculars are not, uh, not the best choice. It's basically like this. You buy a pocket binoculars either to, for a child because of the intercooculator distance or to have them with you at all time. So you just put them in some pocket and forget about them because they're so light and so small. But using them optically speaking is more like a, a backup solution, not a, not a true uh, solution. With compact binoculars you get really good optics except in twilight and, and dusk. But uh, you save on mass. So if you're a hiker, if you if you wish to have really light binoculars, then compact binoculars are the, the right choice. Uh, one more question. So if we talk, for example, about a specific manufacturer, for example, Swarovski, they make uh, the, their pocket uh, binoculars. They also make companion binoculars, which are yeah. compact. Which are the cheaper? So I would say the pocket binoculars are cheaper. Yeah, usually the pocket binoculars are cheaper because. There is also more compromises in their optical build, even though not with Ross and Leica, but with other manufacturers. When you're buying a pocket binoculars, they're usually not that expensive and you're, uh, they usually don't provide uh, the same level of optical performance as full size Venus. Thank you. Uh, I pretty much ran out of questions, so I think we basically covered everything, uh, every question we receive over email. If you have any additional questions as regards pocket and compound binoculars, Leave a comment in the comment section below or send us an email. And uh, if you like the video, also be, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye.